Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this video we're gonna take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of May in the areas of money, career and finance. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. First we're gonna start with your uh, spirit animal oracle card and for you the card that came out is the squirrel spirit believe in yourself so when you kind of think about this uh, the squirrel uh, this is one of those animals that preps uh, for winter gathers all uh, the seeds the acorns acorns whatever they find and they, they uh, prep uh, for uh, all the times when and, you know it's harder for them and this is kind of representing you that you are very well prepared you've done all the work you uh, you had to do and you are ready just trust yourself, believe in yourself, uh, because you are able to handle whatever comes to your way. And let's see what the tarot is telling us. In the center of your reading, you do have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is the card of a new chapter, a new beginning that comes into your life. And, and this is something that kind of like a, a spark. It can be this new idea. It can be a new project, a new job, a new opportunity of some sort um, that uh, has a potential. It has a potential to become a big fire of so some sort. This is like out with the old, in uh, with the new. So there's something new coming into your life that uh, that is uh, like a, a little spark that has a great potential. Uh, and it's also like, you know, very fiery, very uh, adventurous energy whenever the wands uh, come in. And uh, your first card in the spread is the Queen of Wands. So she is the queen that who is the most attractive from all of them uh, because she is radiant, she is positive, and she knows how to, to, uh, uh, how to handle uh the uh, energies of the law of attraction she's radiant she's positive as i said and she can get whatever she wants she can get the job the position the salary the money that she wants uh, because you know she's very productive as well she's very fiery she can get a lot of things done she's also uh, very uh, productive so there's something here that you've been wanting you've been attracting she's also very adventurous she likes uh, uh, to innovate she likes new things new adventures and she also doesn't care about what other people are thinking so some of you might be kind of uh, doing your own business some of you might be getting into some kind of of a leadership position or, or you're just kind of very productive uh, whenever this card uh, comes up you're like a firecracker and the next card you have here is uh, for the uh, past is the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles is this waiting when you're kind of taking count of okay i put a lot of effort into something and i just don't know if i should continue or not and you're kind of going through this evaluation self-evaluation maybe you've been putting a lot of effort into an idea into a business into a work an opportunity and you just don't know uh, whether you should continue or not and that's kind of the the feel of the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles can also connect it to our manifestations as well because you know we talked here about that the queen of wands is, is 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 great at manifesting whatever she wants seven of pentacles can be that moment as well when uh, when finally your manifestations are coming true and you also have the seven of swords so seven of swords is the card of lying cheating stealing and also a card of applying a new kind of strategy or some of you might be in a stealth mode as well when this card comes up maybe you're working on something secretly whatever it is like you know um, through the various meanings of the card you definitely need to take care of uh, take uh, uh, pay attention to people around you that they don't steal your ideas you, you they don't steal your thunder uh, whenever the seven of swords comes out but you also need to kind of you know uh, pay attention that okay maybe you need to shift a strategy uh, because uh, you know you, you with the seven of pentacles you've been doing something for a while you've been waiting and if it's not manifesting then you need to kind of uh, think about what can you do differently with the seven of swords energy because you know 
in, in the original card he's stealing all of those swords because he doesn't want to keep fighting he wants to approach things from a new perspective but again as i said some of you might be working uh, on something uh, that uh, that you kind of keep it to yourself and you are uh, working it uh, working on it in a stealth mode and you also have here the four of pentacles so interesting four of pentacles can be secrets as well uh, like uh, definitely can be when you're withholding something um, or somebody's withholding some kind of an information or you're kind of holding this something to your chest and you're not telling it to anybody but but generally like you know the four of pentacles is all about uh, stability financial stability when you worked very hard for something and you achieved it it can be money position status uh, whatever it is um, you you you've kind of got it when when the four of pentacles comes out um, one thing you need to be careful with the four of pentacles that that you know uh, the four of pentacles as you can see she's holding on to those coins very uh, strongly because she doesn't want to lose them and 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 that's kind of sh shifts your energy of uh, from manifesting into uh, fear and, and you're kind of afraid that you're gonna lose something and when you're focusing on this fear you might actually attract that and you also have the ten of cups which is beautiful it is an indication of an end of a cycle uh, but this is like your dream uh, you definitely went through some difficulties, some hard times, and when the Ten of Cups is coming up, this is like the perfect uh, happiness that you can achieve in the whole tarot. So something is 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 coming to um, something that you've been kind of manifesting. I think you've been definitely coming to life with the Ten of Cups. You are you are able to enjoy the fruits of your labor, and and you kind of uh, have this perfect happiness. Maybe you're you're getting your perfect job. Your perfect business something that you worked very hard something that was not easy to get there but you're there and you're able to fully enjoy it um, and 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 uh, just be in the moment but let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe that's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most for you it is only costing a push of a button so i hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons i'm always very excited to read in the comment how this reading is resonating with your life if you're willing to share it so uh, your reading continues for the future with the six of cups six of cups is a very uh, harmonious full of love energy uh, very nostalgic as well sixes are all about balance as well so there's some kind of an emotional balance that comes to you uh, in, in the future but this can be also connected to the past it has this nostalgic feeling when you're kind of thinking back in the good old days when things seemed uh, um, nicer or easier it can be also that you are connecting with somebody from the past maybe an old co-worker an old uh, boss somebody something from the past might uh, show up in your life maybe uh, you're gonna reveal some kind of a secret for you something that you didn't know about but it's definitely connected to this perfect uh, idea this perfect opportunity that you are trying to manifest and the next we have here is the three of swords so this three of swords is is some kind of a pain uh, that that's that's kind of happening for you something like uh, that happened in, it's connected to your past uh, because you know you have the three of swords which is all about pain it's all about sorrow it's all about like you know uh, think it connected to the past with the six of cups although it's in the future but it, I think there's something here that comes back from the past and it is still impacting you this can be a job loss just this can be where maybe somebody didn't treat you uh, appropriately uh, and it's and it's still hurting uh, you and, and and it might be some kind of a secret that comes out of from the past and it's gonna um, hurt you um, but let's see what else we have here you have here the knight of swords knight of swords is is all about a big change a, a change uh, when something that you know you've been wanting something that you've been waiting for and then suddenly this change comes into your life and and then things are speeding up things are uh, uh, getting uh, happening fast uh, as well so like you know this can be 
like you know the the knight of swords he's ready to go into battle he is um he is ready to get things done he's he's all, all about fo he's focusing on getting things done one thing he needs to pay attention to that he needs to uh spend more time on uh planning um but but you know i think some of you might have already done done your planning with your squirrel spirit and maybe like you know this hard ache can be as well that maybe you just have doubts you are you are not trusting yourself and 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 you need to believe in yourself and at the bottom of the deck you do have the knight of wands so this is kind of like a beautiful energy because the knight of wands is very adventurous it can be a new adventure a new uh, kind of uh, um opportunity that presents itself if you're looking for a job or if you are working on your own business when the knight of wands comes up this is an indication that you're going to be actually way more successful than you think uh, because you know don't forget to uh, believe in yourself so i think you're going to be very successful i think you need to kind of uh put aside and any any kind of hurt that you fra have from the past because you have some uh, very dynamic energies here with the queen of wands uh, with the knight of wands and also the ten of cups can bring you some great happiness and joy so that's all i have for you i hope that this reading uh, helped you and i'll be able to welcome you again